quote by Linda Lingle. We have come dangerously close to accepting the homeless situation as a problem that we just can't solve, end quote. In our society, we have found many individuals who are unable to provide for themselves. So where do they go? They go to shelters. Shelters are a nonprofit organization that saves lives. They get donations from their community, which help provide for those who are in need. In Pocatello, there is one homeless shelter that is well known, and that's Aid for Friends. Aid for Friends is a location where individuals come for a place to stay as well as are able to receive food. Aid for Friends has been in Pocatello for about 30 years, since 1988, after two homeless individuals were dead after a winter storm. Aid for Friends is a location that is able to hold about 45 individuals. As of January 2018, the Idaho homeless statistics have stated that 2,012 individuals are homeless and is increasing, so by now it's a lot more. Out of the 2,012 individuals, 209 are family households, 215 are veterans, and 115 are young adults from the ages of 18 to 24. 324 of those individuals have a chronic homelessness. I work with public safety, and part of my job is to help keep the campus safe as well as help those who are in need. Occasionally, we'll have some individuals who try to stay on campus, but due to it being an unsafe environment due to weather, we transport them over to Aid for Friends. Working with public safety, I know the benefits of having Aid for Friends here in our community and the contributions that they make in being able to help those who are in need. Um, Aid for Friends is just one of the main, main shelters that are located here in Pocatello. And they're all nonprofit organizations that see individuals daily. These organizations work hard to help as many individuals as they possibly can, but due to limited resources, they're not always able to help those individuals and have to turn them away. Though Aid for Friends does its best to help those that are in need, they can't always due to a lack of resources. Aid for Friends staff have stated, we experience overflow or at capacity 85% of the time, end quote. They currently live in a home that is in the 1930s that it was built and it's, it was a smaller home that they actually added on to so they could have more individuals be able to fit into the home. Aid for Friends works hard on helping those who are in need to be able to feed them and give them a place to stay. They have volunteers that work there that are the ones that make the food as well as make sure the shelter is clean and they also donate to Aid for Friends. Due to a growing population of homeless individuals, Aid for Friends doesn't always have the resources to be able to provide for those individuals. Aid for Friends stated, quote, we serve 2,000 homebound friends, currently providing them a weekly visit and a daily meal, end quote. Due to the increase in the homeless population, they're not always able to provide for those individuals. Aid for Friends website has a list of resources that they are needed to help those that are in need, such as cleaning supplies, hygiene supplies, children's supplies even, like diapers and wipes. They also need office supplies and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Consequently, there are other problems to the homeless population, and especially with the increase, but we're not able to solve those problems just in a couple weeks or a couple months. It will definitely take time. But as a community, we can take steps to be able to fix those problems. As a community, we can come together. And one solution that I thought of is having a food drive. Food drives have been proven to help feed those that are hungry. Feeding America states, quote, food drives can raise 700 pounds per distribution location. And that's about 583 mills, end quote. If we each have a food drive, then we're able to donate at least a little portion in, for aid of friends. That way that they're able to feed those that are hungry and not turn away individuals. As we contribute the food donations, they're able to use their resources on other necessities that are needed. While working at Public Safety, I was able to have the opportunity of hosting my own food drive. I was able to put flyers all around the building as well as put boxes all around the building 
and that way we were able to contribute food donations toward the homeless. So it took about a month and I grabbed all of the boxes so I can count up the cans. As a public safety team, we actually made it a challenge to see which department donated the most cans. And we all came together of 300 plus cans. This just proves that food drives do work and that they can help contribute to the larger per picture in helping those who are in need. Aid for Friends is a nonprofit organization and they use resources to help those who are in need, that the donated resources. Sometimes they won't have enough resources to help those individuals and they will have to turn them away. And one solution that we can do as community so this does not happen is host a food drive or even taking a few cans out of your pantry that you don't use and just help donate a little bit at a time. If we contribute to aid for, to friends with our food donations, they'll be able to use those resources that they do have on other necessities. I have personally experienced the benefit of having aid for friends in our Pocatello community to help those who are able to provide for themselves. I have also seen the benefits of hosting a food drive and being able to donate even a small portion to help the bigger picture. Aid for Friends has advised a list of food products that they are willing to have you donate to them. And that would be meat, dairy, cooking supplies, canned foods, dried foods, and so forth. Be compassionate and willing to help those who are in need. Take five minutes out of your day and go into your pantry. Find those food products that you're not using anymore. Or those utensils that are just sitting in the drawer and aren't going to be used and donate them to aid for friends today and help someone who is in need. Thank you.